Mental intensity. It should not be surprising that your mental intensity also operates in, on two different levels. You have a calm, reflective mode in which you are operating with an oxygen metabolism. That mode can basically go on all day. It's very efficient. You will not be worn out at the end of the day. It has a lot of endurance, obviously. Very little waste products are produced when you're using that metabolism. So that metabolism works great. At the moment you are presented with a problem in which you have some responsibility and require some mental intensity to solve, at that very moment you automatically go into, a, into an anaerobic metabolism in your brain. Presumably that high intensity focus will allow you to solve the problem. After the problem is solved, you'll return to your normal reflective mode and go on like that indefinitely. Now this is how it's supposed to work. In the real world, because of this anaerobic dominance, most people have a poor oxygen metabolism. And what that means in terms of their mental focus is that most people, when they are in that calm, reflective mode, they're operating at such low intensity, they feel a little bit depressed or even like they're going to go to sleep. So they're almost forced into dealing in a crisis mentality all the time literally to keep them awake or to give them enough energy that they feel kind of good. So that's the situation mentally in terms of the anaerobic dominance. Of course, as you train with your Frolov device and as your exhalation time gradually increases, your aerobic conditioning in your brain is going to improve. But we still have our habits. And if you want the improvements to become more permanent, then what you have to do is gradually change your habits as your physiology improves. It's actually pretty simple. Step number one, just learn to notice the difference between these two modes. You'll find that during the day, sometimes you're operating in a stressed out or a high intensity mode, and other times you're calm and reflective. At the moment you notice the contrast between these two modes, you're halfway there. Step number two, learn to deal appropriately to the situation before you. There are times when it's entirely appropriate to go into a high intensity focus. When there is a problem in front of you in which you have some responsibility, in which you have some control and some ability to change, by all means, do it. You will actually become more capable at dealing with difficult situations by actually doing it. On the other hand, you'll find that many times you react in this high intensity, crisis, high focus, anaerobic mode to things in which you have absolutely no control, no jurisdiction, things in which you can do nothing about. Once you realize that you're doing this and you have the physiology to be able to return to your calm mode, all the benefits of training with the FRTD will be integrated into your normal day You'll have infinitely more energy because remember the oxygen metabolism is so much more efficient. This can literally change your life. This very simple advice. I'm stressed out all the time. Are you saying that the Frolov device will relieve it? What the Frolov device will do is enable you to get into a relaxed mode and at the same time you'll develop a sense of the contrast between being in a stressed mode and in a relaxed mode. At the moment you have that sense of the difference between stressed and relaxed, you now have the tools to stop reacting in a stressed out way to situations that don't warrant it. It sounds like you're saying that concentrating is like your brain exercising. That is exactly right. Anytime you are mentally focusing, it is the equivalent to your muscles lifting weights. In other words, you are using an anaerobic high intensity system. How does the Frolov device help my concentration? A person who has poor conditioning in the brain has to focus just to do the simple things. But as you know, you are physiologically incapable of high intensity focus all day. The Frolov device helps your concentration because it develops your aerobic metabolism in your brain. And what that means is that you will be able now 
to do your normal activities without having to focus. And you can save your high intensity focus for very difficult tasks. Thank you for listening. For more information on the Frolov respiratory training device, go to healthbyyourself.net.